All right, just talk about your past two starts. Uh, it seems like you've really begun to turn the corner. Yeah, you know, just um, really the biggest thing was when I was scuffling was just o overthinking, um, trying to overanalyze stuff. Um, the last two starts really just, you know, kind of trusting the catcher, trusting the pitching, you know, trusting Willie, trusting Raj, and just kind of trying to execute one pitch at a time. You know, he calls fastball away. Just execute that pitch and see what happens. Um, usually, if you execute your pitch, good things are going to happen. I mean, it's baseball. You're going to give up hits and stuff like that. But if you execute your pitch, you know, one pitch at a time, you have a better chance of having success. What's been the biggest thing you've worked on with Willie? Um, really, uh, kind of just timing, uh, keep my weight back, um, really getting to the top of my lift before leaking forward. Um, and then that's kind of the really mechanical thing. And then, like I said, the other thing is just trying to take the mental game out of it. Just, uh, like I said, you know, whatever pitch is called, just try to execute that pitch and then whatever happens. I mean, once it leaves your hand, you really have no control. Uh, you know, it's like I said, hits, errors, walks. I mean, it's all part of the game, but like I said, if you execute your, your pitch, you know, good things are going to happen most of the time. One of the biggest issues early in the year for you was allowing the leadoff man to get on base. And since you found more success, you've been getting that leadoff guy out. What's been the focus on getting the leadoff man? Yeah, um, that was one thing we talked about with Willie, and that was kind of going hand-in-hand hand with, you know, first pitch strikes and three ball counts, um, getting deep in counts. Obviously, the more pitches hitter sees, um, the better chance to have it getting on. Um, same thing with the first pitch strike. I mean, you're 1-0. 2-0, 2-1, you know, to every hitter, they're in, you know, advantage counts, and they know most of the time a heater's coming, so they can kind of cheat and get a good swing off. And, um, yeah, just, you know, like I said, executing each pitch. I mean, really, that's it's what kind it of, down. yeah, you know, it, that's what it boils down to. But, um, you know, easier said than done. I mean, obviously, when you're struggling, some bad thoughts pop in your head, and, um, you know, you're trying to overanalyze everything. But really just trying to get ahead and stay ahead and execute pitches. Has that been the biggest thing you've had to adjust to at the double-A level? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, good hitters, um, a good league, you know, some small ballparks, some, uh, you know, good like I said, good players. I mean, yeah. you got some top prospects that you're going up against, stuff like that, and, I mean, they're going to hit mistakes. I mean, like I said, it's, it's double-A, and um, it's a pretty big jump from high-A to double-A, and obviously struggle a little bit early. Um, but really just, like I said, just going to execute pitches, I mean, um, easy, like I said, easier said than done because I was really struggling in the beginning of the year, you know, getting ahead, stuff like that. And um, once I started doing that, obviously had a little bit more success. Talk about the success of the team. I think now the team is playing how everybody thought they'd be playing all season. Yeah, I mean, obviously got off to a little bit of a rough start, but um, it's baseball. I mean, we had some tough weather, um, but, you know, no excuses. I mean, we just were under underperforming. I mean, everyone from really from a pitching standpoint, hitting, you know, defense, bullpen, um, it's baseball. I mean, everyone's going to struggle from time to time, and it just seemed like everyone was struggling at the same time, you know, which, like I said, it happens, but, um, you know, really starting to turn things around. Um, a lot of guys, a lot of moves up and down, a lot of roster moves, and, you know, it seems like we kind of find a solid group of guys that's kind of meshing, playing together all at the right time. Talk about working with Jake Rogers. Uh, seems like you guys had a pretty good rapport, and, uh, and, and you know, when, when you watch him catch, it seems like you just have a really good feel with each other, and, and he's been unbelievable throwing out base stealers. Yeah, I mean, I uh, threw to him a little bit in spring training. Uh, he was in big league camp for a while, and, and I wasn't, but he caught a few bullpens, and, I mean, like you said, the guy's, you know, he's on. He's a top prospect for a reason. Um, he's, re he's incredible behind the plate, calling the game, catching, you know, framing pitches, whatever, you know, the, whatever term you want to use, throwing out runners. Um, it's really nice when, you know, you have that, like you said, you have that trust, you know, and obviously you go over the scouting report and, and you trust what he puts down, you know what I mean? It's just, um, it's really nice to have that, that trust factor to go back and forth. And like I said, it makes it easier to, you know, execute pitches because it takes a lot of the thought away because you've, you know, you've prepared before, so you just go out there and then execute.